an unusual day and a first for this museum in Rome, recently transformed into a vaccination centre. This family is one of the first to take up the offer of vaccination for children between 5 and 11 in Italy. I'm very happy to be able to have my children vaccinated before Christmas because it's a moment when we meet up with all the family and it's reassuring to know that our children are also protected against the virus. Now I will be a little less scared of COVID. I'll be more relaxed. The COVID jab for children is voluntary. One and a half million doses have already been made available. It's a Pfizer vaccine with a reduced dose. It's one third of an adult's dose. Nearly 250,000 children between 5 and 11 have already been infected in Italy. This age group currently has a particularly high coronavirus infection rate. Most adults have already had the vaccine, and so the virus is looking for a different area to spread. Now it's the children who give it that opportunity, as they aren't vaccinated. Risks for non-vaccinated children include developing serious symptoms or a new inflammatory syndrome that develops post-infection linked to coronavirus and that particularly affects children under the age of 12. It's a new syndrome that's appeared with COVID. It's not caused by the virus itself, but by an excessive response of the immune system to the virus. It usually occurs two to six weeks after the infection. It can damage the heart, the lungs and the digestive system. You have to be hospitalized in order to treat it and quite often spend time in intensive care. There are 3.6 million children in this age group that can now benefit from this new vaccination campaign in Italy. <laughs>